Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. This week there's a new region that's opened in China, AWS Direct Connect has arrived in Africa, Amazon released Linux 2, a new generation of the Amazon Linux operating system, Amazon released a new unified CloudWatch agent, and we announce winner of Guru of the Week. I'm Ryan Krunenberg, and you're watching AWS This Week. So this week, a new region has opened in China in Ningxi. And last month, there are actually rumors that AWS were going to exit China after selling certain physical infrastructure assets to internet services company Beijing Sinet. Now, in China, the law actually forbids non-Chinese companies from owning or operating cloud infrastructure. So the new region is operated by Ningxi Western Cloud Data Technology, or NWCD. And AWS continues to own all the intellectual property for AWS around the world. Now to comply with Chinese laws, all Chinese locations are isolated from all other AWS regions. So the only way you're going to get access to this is to actually go to China yourself. So AWS Direct Connect has finally landed for the first time on the African continent with two new sites in Cape Town and Johannesburg in South Africa. And in Cape Town, the AWS Direct Connect uh, connection is at the Terraco CT1 data center. And in Johannesburg, it's the Terraco JB1 data center. And both these Direct Connect sites can be found under the EU West Island AWS region in the AWS Management Console. And it just makes me wonder when there'll be a region in Africa. Well, let's see what happens in 2018. So the biggest news this week is that Amazon have released Linux 2, a new generation of the Amazon Linux operating system. And there's four main differences with this new Linux instance. The first of which is that Amazon Linux 2 will offer long-term support. The second is that it's available as a VM image, so you can actually go and deploy this on premise. The third is that it includes Systems D Service and Systems Manager, and it also includes a new version of compiler and build tools. And finally, it provides the ability to install additional software packages packages through the extra, extras mechanism without impacting the underlying long-term support of the operating system. So Amazon have released a new unified CloudWatch agent. And in the past, if you've used CloudWatch, you've had to use several agents, daemons, and script to collect your metrics and log files for your Windows or Linux instances in the cloud, as well as on-premise. Now, Amazon have released a new unified CloudWatch agent, which basically runs both in the cloud and on-premise, as well as on Linux and Windows instances. And it basically goes in and collects metrics and log files. Now, the CloudWatch agent, when using it in the cloud, uses an IAM role and when running on premise it's going to use an IAM user in order to have its permissions to uh, log to CloudWatch uh, and you can deploy it using the AWS systems manager run command the AWS systems manager state manager or from the CLI and so now onto my favorite segment, the winner of Guru of the Week. And last week's correct answers were E and F. And to find out why, check out the link below to our discussion forums. So this week's winner is Niraj Aswathi. Congratulations, Niraj. He gave a very detailed explanation as to why these were correct. Niraj is a manager at Sapien in India. So congratulations, we're gonna send you out some swag in the post. And a new question is now live on our Facebook page. Again, the link is below. So go check it out with the chance to win exclusive swag, including a Guru of the Week t-shirt, a sticker, and a hand sign card from myself, and the chance to win a free ticket to reInvent in 2018. So keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next week.